Welcome back to the channel, guys. Uh, what's your creative muse? I'm talking about something, a subject matter, a character, a movie, an actor or actress, a director, another artist, somebody, something that you love, that you just that you find interesting enough so that it forces you to be creative. Not to the point where you start copying what you've seen before, but more of you get inspired to work. That's the bottom line. But something that actually forces you to be creative and be productive. That to me is a creativity muse. Um, my creativity muse for a long time, for some odd reason, is Nasferatu. As artists, we come into a roadblock or a uh, creative slump, a creative drought, and we need something or someone to get us inspired again. And sometimes we can't rely on people to do that. So relying on characters and things, uh, subject matters within the art world, this is a great thing to do. I had a chance to watch Nosferatu for the first time and I watched it by myself in the dark and it freaked me out. And it, the element and the creepiness of the film forced me to get off my behind during my creativity rut and get some artwork done. That's what made it such a special film for me. And um, the character of Nosferatu is not necessarily about the film itself, but the character itself. It, it brought out a level of imagination and creepiness that I hadn't felt in a while. So I wanted to make sure that I tried to capture some of that element of creepy when I did my finally did my drawing of of Nosferatu years and years later so when I watched the film back in the day I never attempted to draw or illustrate Nosferatu I just didn't think I had the chops to do it back then so all these years later I decided to go ahead and tap on the shoulder of Nasratu and find out why he makes me tick so much. I don't know why. The level of creepiness is wonderful. So I tr decided this time to draw him instead of watching the film over again. I watched the film again, but I decided to draw him for the first time. I went back to the basics, pencil, paper, shading stick. That's all I needed. Um, that's my, my comfort zone, if you will. That's my... Um, that's like home cooking right there. So I always have fun when I'm just dealing with pencil and, and paper. So drawing this one was fun. It was just, it was nice and, and easy. And it was to the point where I, I didn't experiment. I didn't need to experiment or try and reinvent the wheel. I think I've been into digital painting land for way too long. And so getting a, my hands dirty with some uh, pencil and paper was just wonderful. So um, I suggest that if you are going through your creative drought, you need that little bit of a push, find out something that maybe you always have to reach back into your past to get that, that imagination going again extremely important. So think about your, your past, something that pulled you out of a, a, a tough time, a piece of music, um, an actor, a film, whatever the case may be, get your creative muse and have it at standby. So whenever you're going through your creativity drought, you can lean on your creativity muse and get right back on track. And this piece fueled me to go right into the next piece, which uh, we'll go into in the, in the next video. So creative muses are important. Uh, this piece was um, fueled by the music of Abyss, my brother, which is awesome. Um, his new album is streaming on uh, Spotify, Tidal, all the big ones. Um, it's called Brainstorm. My brother is Abyss. Check out his music, uh, stream it as much as you want. The instrumental music is wonderful to listen to while you're creating. It's an instrumental album and it's awesome. That's one thing you gotta know about me. When I make something new, I want to make sure that I keep a mental note of what I was listening to while I was making it so that whenever I listen to that track, it goes right back into my mental and I think about 
the time I made this piece because I don't want to stop creating. I want my creativity to more or less mark different moments and different chapters in my life. I hope you guys do the same thing. It's a good thing that we just keep that momentum going by producing as much work as possible. I always say to keep creating. That's the best thing that we can do. If we have the urge to do it and the bravery to do it, we shouldn't stop. So keep creating. I'll see you on the next video. If you like what you see in this video, please, please like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.